Hello everybody, this is Rusty Rumandel. I'm looking at a game today called Garagoa. Um, I first caught wind of it while looking at the Indicate winners uh, for this week. Indicate is an expo that was held in Austin, Texas earlier this week. Um, it's a very interesting game. It won awards for best visuals, but damn it, it should have won awards for best everything ever. This is probably one of the most clever puzzle games I think I've ever encountered. Uh, I can't really describe it, so I'm just going to play it. Please note that it's it's quite spoilery because it, of it being a puzzle game. Essentially watching me play this spoils the whole thing. But this is not the full game, however. It's just a preview. The actual game will only be ready um, at the end of next year. The, the What I'm playing now, you can download for free from his website. I put the URL in the video description. Um, so anyway, let me let me play and I'll show you I'll show you why this is the cleverest thing that ever was. Okay, so we start off with a picture. This is this this is a town and just watch some establishing artwork. I guess is what this is. And here comes a monster. Rar, rar. Okay, I muted the sound. There's really no rah rah rah. It's just some very soothing music usually, and and that's it. I've I've toned it down though because um, uh, I don't want to shout. Okay, so we zoom out. Is this clever yet? No, not yet. Okay, what is this monster? Is it a fish? No. Is it seaweed? No coral whatever that was aha uh -huh. it is a monster now let's see now this kind of establishes your quest or, or, or whatever it is you need to achieve uh, which involves apples for some reason that I do not n do not understand but I'm sure it will be made more clear um, when the game gets released so okay so apples I zoom out he's still thinking about his apples and off he goes Okay, now the, the the game splits up into four views, and we can start dragging things around. Like this picture, for example. Okay, as they illustrate there, I can go like this and drag the picture apart. Now we got the thing split up into two pictures. I zoom out this one. We got um, and oh, here's our little guy. Still thinking about his apples and his little bowl, which doesn't have any apples in it. Uh, so we gotta move him now. Now wh the way we're gonna move him over here is by zooming in there, moving this across to where he is. He switches the light off. He hops out. Now at this point, you're I I don't know. This already to me was mind blown when I saw this the first time. Um, but it gets better. So I will drag this out here. He puts his bowl down. Okay. Zooming out through this door. See, there's our first apple, red apple. Um, how do we get the apple in the bowl though? We got we got a crow or a magpie, whatever that is, to help us out. And bloop. Okay. Yes, yes, we know. Put the apples in the bowl. All right. Yes, yes, we are. We will be catching that monster with our magic multicolored apples. How do you like them apples? Okay, I gotta move. You'll see there's another little doorway over there. So we gotta little get find out how to move him over there. Now I happen to know that we can go to the scene over here and move this one up there he hops in I move it away he walks across and uh, that's nothing right now oh yeah let me zoom in here put this there there we go and we can separate it again
see little dude seems to know exactly where to go but um, we just gotta make sure he gets to gets to these places up oh, he can't go there someone cemented the entry entryway shut conveniently there's a picture and this is a game all about pictures so I separate these two zoom out and put the doorway where it belongs cool oh let's go through okay so here we have another apple which we can clearly see and he puts the bowl down but the apple is the wrong color so you can separate this picture and it reveals a bigger picture that we can scroll around um, and that looks kind of apple-ish so there we go yep that's that's a green apple right there there you go dude doing well doing well okay um, okay so if I separate these out it reveals another one of these scrolling scenes this time a bedroom scene um, uh, what's handy in solving puzzles in this game is looking out for shapes and colors and patterns that match so in this one for example if I scroll around I you, you see this picture over here on the wall kind of resembles that thing over there so you can um, so you this arch um, that he's sitting under so it kind of gives you a clue that those belong together um, all right uh, Ah, uh, okay, wait. So, um, now you can go here. Oh, here we go. Hey, it's a yellow apple. Uh, but what to do with it? Ha, ah, here we go. More apples. Um, and what I was saying about patterns earlier was um, is well, it's starting to become apparent here too. Those match up with that, so I can just drag that down there, and it gives him a place to go. Hey, guy. Um, zoom out. Oh, he's totally in a different place. This is like a either a bad acid trip or one of those dreams where you you know you dreamt something awesome but you just have no hope in hell of describing it to anybody in any amount of uh, detail um, another tower oh yeah there's a railroad track and there's a little doorway so that's cool that's good at least you know the doorways how they work You can get out. Hey, hey, buddy. Um. Okay, this splits into two scenes. Okay, so he's not hopping onto the train because he needs a coin. Um. So one thing we haven't looked at before was this skeleton. The skeleton hand with 